There are no hard and fast rules governing maximum and minimum limits for wall thicknesses. They should be as consistent as possible throughout the component and, where variations are required, transitions should be provided to avoid abrupt changes. Modern die casting equipment and techniques routinely produce castings with maximum and minimum wall thicknesses and with variations that were impossible a few years ago. Die casting varying wall thicknesses should be utilized only as necessary to achieve performance or economic advantages. Uniform wall thicknesses are otherwise preferred. It may be difficult to identify thick and thin sections in a part design. Cross-sectioning of the design model is usually the most convenient method to quickly analyze a basic design for uniform wall thickness. However, when a design has a large number of features or a complex shape, it can become difficult to identify uniform wall thicknesses using cross-sectioning alone. In this example, a tubular joint design is shown cross-sectioned. The general thick and thin sections can be identified. However, note that the cross-section through the ribs is visually deceiving and makes it hard to discern the transition from the thin rib to the actual thick sections of the part. Some CAD systems are capable of thickness analysis and can produce color-coded thickness analysis of part models. In addition, NADCA supplies CastView software capable of detailed thickness analysis of part models at a low cost. Applying the thin section thickness analysis in cast view, thin section volumes are highlighted in green. Thin sections may not fill properly or may choke off metal flow to other areas of the part. However, thin sections at the extremities of a part and away from the gate may be perfectly acceptable. Applying the thick section thickness analysis in cast view, thick section volumes are highlighted in red. In addition, CastView is capable of detecting thin die sections, sometimes called bad steel conditions. Sometimes design geometry may cause a thin die section or sliver-like die steel condition. These thin die sections may fail prematurely and will decrease the die life or require extensive and costly die maintenance. During the design stage of the part, Using thickness analysis can identify potential areas of concern that can be discussed with a die caster at an early stage. By using the results from various thickness analysis tools, the part model can be modified to create the most uniform walls possible and also eliminate thin die sections, thereby increasing the manufacturability of the part.